We are here at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh at the end of what has been a quite glorious week of nice weather, shiny airplanes, lots of pilots, what's not to love? But we hadn't seen this particular package before. Now, we talked a lot about Just Aircraft Superstole, love the airplane, and they have used a number of different engines on it, including the 912. And, well, this was a 912, but this gentleman next to me is going to tell me more about it. I'm Dan Johnson, talking to Dean Brewster. And you have what's known by everybody as kind of the edge package, whether that's the proper name for it or not, on this 912. So tell me a little bit about the edge package first. Um, the edge package, uh, when I started building the plane, I really wanted to get something that was different than what was on all the rest of the airplanes. And I was looking around and ran into uh, this engine of edge performance. And it's actually called the R912 STI. And so it's a fuel injected turbocharged uh, electronic ignition package they sell that is uh, all computer electronic driven and uh, puts out 156 hor 156 horsepower um, and now that's quite a boost because this started out as a hundred horsepower engine yeah so it, that's 56 percent more power that's yeah. a lot of power on this airplane yeah it's it's quite the jump that's it's taken and uh, as you can see they've done a great job uh, really professional build that they do in that and um, you know I got the engine it was a new Rotex engine had one hour on it I shipped it off to them and uh, the conversion was done by Edge Performance um, up in Canada. He's the North America um, dealer for Edge. Yeah, you and told me something there I didn't know because I know this is a Norway product. Uh, and they've been doing this quite a while. This is not a new thing. They've got many years of experience doing this. But I didn't know they had a Canadian outlet for their products. Yeah. And he, that's who you went to. Yeah, his okay. name is Jason Boussat, and he runs uh, Badass Power Sports out of Canada. But he is the guy that converted the engine for me. Okay. So you just took the engine, sent it to them. They did everything that I'm looking at right here? They... Uh, built the engine itself and got it ready for an install. They did a bench run on it. Oh, they um, did, okay. Ran it through a test booth and that and then sent Jason it to me. Jason did again, you're talking yeah. about same guy. Yeah, okay. Jason did all of that and then sent to me and from that point all the rest of it was just figuring out how to fit it into this plane, how to get all the routing for hoses, how to get routing for intercooler here. You know, uh, there's all kinds of ways you can mount intercooler. Um, if you go around and look, some are mounted on the bottoms. Um, anyway, we just worked on how the best way to get it into a super stall cowling was. And we um, is you and Jason or yeah. you and somebody else? Um, no, me and Jason. Okay, uh, okay. And, and, the whole key to the intercooler is having cool air going to it to where you can get rid of the hot air and be pressurizing with cool air. Right, okay. that being the whole point of an intercooler, oh, right. yes, right. So, um, but yeah, no, he was very helpful. Like say, I'm in Houston, Texas, he's ah, in Canada. Okay. Okay, but through the phone, everything we had, they were great to work with. He took my phone calls all the time, uh, uh, taking pictures of how I put it in there. If he thought there was something I could do differently or better, we talked about it and went on. But there was a lot of fabrication to get all the uh, final set up and things put into it. And all of what you're talking about is not the cowling, it's the hearts themselves fitting them in the space there. Yeah, uh, Yes. Just fitting the final setup. Okay, so this is, I want to back up just a little bit. This turbocharged aircraft, which of course when you turbocharge, you're going to heat things up, which is sort of the point of an intercooler to cool them back down again, right? Correct. Um, right, good so far, right? So, uh, and then you've got more horsepower, which is also going to make more heat. So the intercooler is a really important part of this, I'm guessing. Yes, just where we got that and how we put it in there is, uh, really key to this and right now I mean we're still pushing our way through to get it in uh, Jason came by since he's been down here and we're really going to add a baffling between the exhaust and the intercooler now because we're afraid sure, we're going to get heat some heat right here yeah. and you got a cooler right here right. you want to separate those two. so we're that makes sense. working on getting that and uh, with that when I get back home we're going to add some of that in and really start 
the final testing and test flights on the planes. So right now we're uh, working on getting it all tied into G3X also. Uh, so yeah, right. we've got all of our engine instruments and all that are tied into a computer that came with this. But now we've got to share that information over to Garmin's G3X. So Thomas is the other. This is the he's guy the guy owner, Norway. The yeah. guy out of Norway. He's meeting with me for us to set and figure out now how do we get uh, all okay. the engine instruments over to the G3X. So yeah. why do you want more so why do you want so much more power? What, what's the point of your power here? Well, I'm actually building this. Me and my son wanted to start this and he's wanting to fly the stall competitions. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's really why we went and wanted the more horsepower in that is if we're gonna go compete when you go out here and see what they're doing, you're not going to do it with a regular 912. <laughs> yeah, no, well, not, not in win, anyway. <laughs> right. You probably so. have a lot of fun, but you're not going <laughs> to yeah. win. Okay, so let's go back to the airplane just for a little bit because that was kind of an interesting story, too. Yeah. You didn't go buy a kit and start assembling it. You got a head start, I'll say. Yeah. Uh, Mark Hudgens is a friend of mine, and he bought two kits. Two he, kits? Yeah. Okay. And he started working on both of them. He built one of them and completed it. And this one, he had started on the fabric work. He had the control surfaces and wings covered. And that portion of the work done. And I bought the project from him. And then we finished it, did the paint, uh, did all the interior controls. Uh, all the rest of the plane, we ended up finishing it up. Well, you did a nice job, and one of the things I like here, uh, this is just a touch, you know, it's not a big big deal too much, but this uh, clear view down by your kick panel. Yeah. That was, well, why did you do that? Well, it's fun for us to look inside there, but why'd you do it? <laughs> Two reasons. All right. First of all, we did it for the show, really, because we thought the avionics work that got done in the plane is just phenomenal. <laughs> so you can see in the back here. <laughs> Well, that means you got to have it nice and tidy because now you're letting everybody see it. All right. All right. And then the second reason was when I got in with the big tires and everything that was here, the taxiing was not <laughs> something we could really see. But if we had the sides out, it was easier to see the sides of the runway and where you were. And it just was a lot to me safer as we're coming in learning to fly it. Have you even flown the aircraft with this engine the, on it? No, we actually finished the aircraft last Thursday. Oh wow, it's that fresh, uh, huh? It got signed off, uh, it's airworthiness on the 10th, and it's been started, we've taxied it, we've done run-ups on it and that, but we actually loaded it up brought it here and then when we get back just aircrafts actually come and are they with me and they're gonna help me with the fly off on phase one and just make sure that we do a good job good for them when they're first taken off and then if we have any issues they're able to help me sort through them so you told me a couple of good stories about customer support that I'm happy to hear yeah Jason with the engine package and just aircraft being willing to come down to where you live and make sure it's all going right. Yep, it, they've been great. Good on these and, companies for doing yeah, that. Yeah, and I had a Highlander before this and they did the same thing with it. Is that they right? came to Houston, did lessons with me and my son, made sure we both could handle the plane the way it should be flown Good and uh, helped on. Them. So That's it's great. been so great. I'm thinking you're going to perform very similarly to, or maybe even better, than the 180 horse Titan version. It, it's going to be interesting to see because it is quite a bit lighter with the way that's in there. How old's your son? My son is 32 years old. 32 years old. So, so. he's he's getting geared up for stole competitions. Oh yes, huh? he's and he, he's chomping at the bit to get this in the air. Then right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure you both are, but yeah. with those ambitions, he would clearly be one of those. So. Yeah. All right, so uh, thank you for talking to us about all of this stuff, Dean. That's great. Uh, I've asked as many questions as I can think of right now, but people always have more. And they may want to contact these two companies, the airframe company, the engine company, to find out more. Do you know the web address for Just Aircraft? I do. It's justaircraft.com. And how about the uh, Edge uh, package and, and that company? Edge Performance, uh, the guy I dealt with for North America is badasspowersports.com. There you go. So you can find more and about it. Jason Boussat. And Jason Jason Boussat is the man behind that particular last web address. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. We've done a lot of coverage of uh, all the Just Aircraft over the years, from the smallest to the great Super Stole, and uh, on a variety of engines. We haven't blown this one yet, but you can find a lot of that other stuff and plenty more affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com.
Thanks for joining Dean Brewster and myself here at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh.